Library Mindset The Art of Laziness Overcome Procrastination and Improve Your Productivity If you want to be successful, overcoming laziness is the key. The essence of achieving one's goals, irrespective of the field, be it business, personal development, or creative pursuits, rests on conquering the habit of laziness. The true obstacle to accomplishment is not a lack of activity, but the presence of unproductive laziness. In this blink, we're going to address laziness head-on, adapting your mindset with actionable steps toward a more productive and effective you. The journey to overcoming laziness is mapped out in this blink through strategies that you can engage daily to help you step out of your comfort zone and cultivate self-discipline. This comprehensive strategy for combating laziness and enhancing productivity serves as a blueprint for anyone looking to achieve their goals. It's a testament to the power of intentional action, the discipline of focus, and the importance of creating an enabling environment for success. Someday, you'll open your eyes to find the time has run out for pursuing your dreams. Do it today. Your life is your responsibility. Your life is your responsibility. Nobody else is going to do the work that will allow you to succeed. This means that if you want to achieve something, you're the only one who can put in the work to make it happen, because ultimately, you're the one who cares most about your success or failure. The key is to maintain focus on your journey and understand no one else is going to pave the way for you. Mistakes in this light aren't the catastrophes we often fear them to be. Rather, they're an opportunity to learn and grow. The only thing that can really damage your chances of success is never trying in the first place. One way that we can take control of our laziness is through personal reflection and goal setting. So, before you go to sleep each night, dedicate 10 minutes to writing down what you did that day and what you need to do tomorrow. This is a moment to pause and review what worked and what didn't. Then, go through your day hour by hour. What did you accomplish? What did you fail to get done? By quickly logging your actions, you can gain a clear understanding of how you've allocated your time. This exercise isn't just about accountability, it's also setting the stage for the next day. Finally, write down what you aim to do tomorrow. Then refine this to-do list. We often try to fit too many things into our days and end up not completing the tasks that really matter. Refine your list into three high-value tasks that, if accomplished, will make the biggest difference to you. This practice of nightly reflection and prioritization will help your productivity, but more important, it becomes a ritual of ownership. It forces you to confront the reality of how you actually spend your time versus how you want to spend it. Deciding what is truly valuable and dedicating yourself to those tasks is the essence of personal responsibility. Remember, only you can make these choices for yourself. By embracing this approach, you're not just planning your day, you're shaping your life. Step out of your comfort zone. Growth is an inherently uncomfortable process. It demands that we step beyond the familiar confines of our comfort zones to challenge ourselves in new, often difficult ways. This journey beyond comfort is not about taking on more than you can handle, but about pushing your boundaries incrementally and expanding your capabilities. The comfort zone, while safe and familiar, is also a barrier to achieving one's full potential. When we try to change our behaviors or habits, it's important to remain consistent in our dedication to this change. It's easy to sink back into the comfortable when the slightest thing goes wrong, this is where the two-day rule comes in. The two-day rule is simple yet powerful. Never skip two days in a row. This rule applies to any activities that contribute to your daily growth. Let's say you've decided to do daily exercise. One day, something comes up and you don't manage to get to the gym. That's okay. Life is unpredictable and occasionally you miss a day but missing two days in a row begins a pattern that can quickly erode your progress and lead you back into your comfortable inertia. Consistency is the bedrock of habit formation. It's what turns isolated actions into components of your daily life. 
Adhering to the two-day rule is a recognition that growth requires effort and that effort must be sustained. It's easy to make excuses, to let a single slip-up justify, returning to what feels familiar. But when you defeat the urge to stay in the comfort zone too long, you reinforce the habit of growth. Each day that you choose to stick to your commitments, especially when you are embracing the new, is a victory over stagnation. You commit to stepping beyond what is comfortable to achieve what is possible. Overcome procrastination with strategy and discipline. Self-discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. It's the ability to do what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like doing it. On the path to achieving personal and professional milestones, procrastination is your biggest enemy. Often, it hides the root cause, comfort, anxiety, laziness, or fear. Overcoming this barrier requires not just willpower, but also strategic techniques that can help transform intention into action. Parkinson's law states that work expands to fill the time allotted for its completion. C. Northcote Parkinson was a naval historian who first published the observation that would become his namesake in an essay for The Economist in 1955. The idea is that if you give yourself a week to complete a two-hour task, then, psychologically speaking, the task will increase in complexity and become more daunting until it fills the entire week. We tend to create work to fill time, or at least we fill time with stress and tension about having to get the job done. By setting tighter deadlines, you force yourself to focus on what's truly necessary, eliminating wasted time and making efficiency a priority. If you're struggling with self-discipline on a daily basis, you might find the Pomodoro technique helpful. This is a time management method that breaks work time into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by short breaks. Each section of work is a session of focus, where you give one task your full attention. This is followed by a five-minute break to reset and refresh. This cycle not only helps maintain high levels of concentration, but also prevents procrastination by homing in on single tasks and ensuring regular rest periods. As you become more attuned to your own attention span, you can adjust the length of the working time to suit your needs. Keeping these techniques in mind can significantly enhance your ability to cultivate self-discipline and overcome procrastination. By setting realistic yet challenging deadlines for tasks, you can avoid the common pitfalls on the path to your achievements. With self-discipline and the right strategic techniques, you can make procrastination a thing of the past. The myth of multitasking. Multitasking, often glorified in the modern work ethic, is largely a myth when it comes to productivity. The truth is, our brains are not wired to handle multiple tasks simultaneously with high efficiency. What we perceive as multitasking is actually rapid task switching, which can lead to decreased productivity and increased mental fatigue. If you want to work effectively, you actually want to cut back on that rapid task switching. By dedicating complete attention to one task at a time and avoiding the temptation to switch between tasks, you can achieve a higher quality of work and a more profound sense of accomplishment. The key to overcoming this challenge is focus. There are two major strategies that might help you reduce distractions and keep you on task. The first is tackling the most challenging task first. We tend to veer toward easier, less important tasks when we start our days. Unfortunately, this can often lead to feeling productive instead of being productive. And as a result, you get caught in that busy work trap. Instead, start with the hard things. As well as getting them out of the way, this also ensures that your most significant work receives the energy and focus it deserves. Removing distractions as you tackle this is crucial, so turn off your email notifications and set your phone to silent. By creating an environment conducive to deep work, you set the stage for enhanced productivity and creativity. The five-minute rule offers a complementary strategy to this focused approach. This rule suggests that if a task can be completed in five minutes or less, it should be done immediately. 
This practice helps clear minor tasks that could otherwise accumulate and become distracting mental clutter. By dealing with these tasks promptly, you free up mental space for more significant, challenging work. This rule aids not only in maintaining a cleaner, more organized task list, but also in fostering a proactive mindset toward task completion. Incorporating these principles into your daily routine can transform your productivity and your approach to work and learning. By acknowledging the myth of multitasking and employing the five-minute rule for smaller tasks, you create a structured, efficient routine. This routine not only supports your immediate productivity goals, but also contributes to your long-term personal and professional development. Keep an action-oriented mindset. An action-oriented mindset, combined with a commitment to continuous learning, is essential for achieving lasting success and personal growth. It's about being proactive, taking initiative, and consistently seeking out new knowledge and experiences. This approach not only enriches your life, but also propels you toward your goals at an accelerated pace. Yet, what many fail to realize is that our environment and the company we keep play pivotal roles in shaping our behaviors, attitudes, and ultimately, our achievements. The practical insight here revolves around the significant influence of your social circle on your mindset and actions. The people you surround yourself with can either uplift you and encourage your growth or pull you into a cycle of complacency and stagnation. If you find yourself in the company of those who lack ambition or are content with mediocrity, you might notice their traits beginning to rub off on you. This phenomenon is not just about peer pressure. It's about the subtle, ongoing influences that shape your worldview, habits, and productivity. To foster an action-oriented mindset and nurture continuous learning, it's crucial to curate your social circle intentionally. Seek out individuals who embody the qualities you aspire to develop within yourself. Surround yourself with people who are not just talkers, but doers those who have achieved the goals you're aiming for or who are actively working toward them. This doesn't mean you should shun friendships based on people's achievements or lack thereof. It's simply a reminder to be aware of the primary influences in your life. Changing your circle to change your thinking is not about exclusion, but in fact about inclusion, actively including more of the people who inspire you, challenge you and encourage you to grow. It's also about being discerning regarding whose advice you take to heart. Advice should be weighed not just on its merits, but also on the achievements and experiences of those offering it. If someone hasn't walked the path you're on or achieved the goals you're aiming for, their advice, while well-intentioned, may not be terribly relevant or valuable. Embracing this approach means committing to an environment that supports your ambitions and learning goals, it's a powerful step toward maintaining an action-oriented mindset in which continuous improvement is part of your daily routine. By aligning yourself with those who share your aspirations and embody the traits of diligence, resilience, and lifelong learning, you not only accelerate your personal growth, but also contribute positively to the lives of those around you. In this Blink to the Art of Laziness by Library Mindset, you've learned that the journey to overcoming laziness is not about constant busyness, but about meaningful action and self-awareness. By embracing personal responsibility, stepping out of comfort zones, cultivating self-discipline, and prioritizing work that makes an impact, you lay the foundation for genuine productivity. The strategies discussed, from reflecting on daily achievements to understanding the influence of your social circle, provide practical steps for transforming laziness into a catalyst for growth. The importance of an action-oriented mindset and continuous learning underscores the value of being proactive in personal development. This guide serves as a reminder that overcoming laziness is integral to achieving goals and living a fulfilled life. By applying these insights, you empower yourself to navigate the challenges of procrastination and inertia, ultimately paving the way for success and satisfaction in your personal and professional endeavors. Overcome laziness and enjoy your future.
Okay, that's it for this Blink. Thanks so much for listening. And if you can, please take the time to leave us a rating or a comment. We always appreciate your feedback. See you in the next Blink.